After stumbling in the first game of the series, the Diamond Devils successfully recovered and ended a five-game skid with an 8-3 win over the Utah Utes. On Friday night, Arizona State unveiled this statue of former head coach Bobby Winkles. And on that night, it was probably best that Coach Winkles' statue faced away from the ballpark as Arizona State would go on to have a demoralizing 10-0 loss to Utah. But tonight, I bet Coach Winkles would have wanted them to turn this statue around as ASU would have 13 hits, four double plays, and a win to even the series. So what was the difference between the first game of the series and this one? Well, plain and simple, it looked like Arizona State was having much more fun out there in the diamond, both in the dugout and in the field. I think we had a little more fun tonight too. Like I, I feel like all around everyone was a little, a little happier to be there. It, I mean, it could have helped that we scored in that first inning, but it seemed like everyone was having a little more fun than we did last night. However, Coach Bloomquist expects his players to bring the fun atmosphere along with the energy and enthusiasm game in and game out. Uh, but the energy's got to be there, and the body language and the effort level, all that stuff is non-negotiable. We have to play with that type of stuff, um, and if we don't, then we got to find new guys that will. One of the most impressive trends on the night was ASU's pitching, as there was no need for a deep bullpen as Connor Markle and Hunter Omelette combined for nine innings pitched with nine strikeouts to only six hits given up. And those guys able to to wrap up a game with just those two, it was great. We were able to preserve Schieffer and, and Carlone and Giblin, Matty T, and, and those guys, we were able to preserve them for, for tomorrow. So um, that's, uh, that was a good job by both of those guys. With some much needed fresh arms ready in the bullpen, the Diamond Devils will hope to ride the momentum of this important 8-3 win into the series finale on Sunday. Parker Perrell, WCSN.